Hello and welcome to something very, very different here on the channel. I think this is the first non-football manager video that I've released on this channel in about two years. So, very new, very excited, also very, very nervous. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy it. I've certainly been a big Civilization player for years, although not really so much Civilization 6. Um, we are going to be having a playthrough on the Gathering Storm expansion pack, which I think has been about been out about a year or so. Um, to give you some context, I did buy the game when it first came out, like three years ago now. Um, I also bought each of the expansion packs when they came out, and I never had time to play any of them because all of my time is taken up by Football Manager. But then I got it on Switch, and I've been playing it loads, so I thought the time had come to finally play i would say the game i love most outside of football manager i've probably spent more time on various civilization games over the years than any game outside the football manager championship manager series um probably civ three and four more than five and six but we can learn together or you can teach me as you can see i'm just setting up a game here i'm using one of the uh one of the new, I want to be the English version of her. I better choose the actual right person. Um, I want to be England, so I recognise the name of the cities. Um, this is one of the new leaders that I think is part of the Gathering Storm expansion. But like I say, I didn't really play the game before both of these expansions were out. Outside of that, I'm leaving everything else pretty much unchanged. Um, so Prince difficulty, I think, is about halfway through. But it's the standard one. So for a first playthrough, let's just do it on the standard one. And with that in mind, standard game speed. Um, continents, which I think, I guess you would consider continents the standard way of setting up. I mean, you could do it as real world, but it's continents as standard. Map size, standard. Just trying to do a pretty standard game setup, leaving all the different victory types on. I'm not going to specify who the other leaders are or anything like that. We're just going to, we're just going to get up and running and get a game started. And goodness me. Am I excited? If you're also excited to see some Civilization VI on the channel, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up as well. The more likes we can get, the more likely I am to continue with the series. Let's consider this an experiment for now. If we get, I don't know, pluck a number out there, let's say a thousand likes, then I'll definitely do a part two. And we'll kind of just take it from there. And of course, if you are new to the channel, just because of Civilization, please consider subscribing, turning the notifications on. It might just be Football Manager if this video doesn't go well, but, you know, if it does, have a look around the channel. If there's more Civ stuff, it went well. Make sure you subscribe, get your notifications on. So, I'm, I'm learning as, as I go here. Um, English Empire, Eleanor of Eleanor of Aquitaine. So, the things that we've got unique are um, Court of Love, so Great Works... Great works in our cities cause minus one loyalty to foreign cities within nine tiles. A city leaves another civilization due to loss of loyalty and is currently receiving the most loyalty per t So it looks like we can, nearby cities, if we've got enough great works, we'll be able to turn nearby cities without having to conquer them with our military. And we also skip the step where they go to a free city. So normally they'd liberate, become a free city, and then you can take them over. But it looks like if we have enough great works on our borders so that's something to bear in mind great works on our border cities that are bordering other civilizations or city states we can use them to turn those cities i assume it includes city states right? just say foreign cities so let me know down in the comments if you're an expert if that also includes city states um, but we also have workshop of the world so iron and coal mines accumulate two more resources per turn um, so we want to focus on iron and coal because we're going to get more production out of them. Um, we also have 100% production or more resources out of them. We've also got more production or 100% production towards military engineers. Um, they also receive plus two charges. So military engineers, which I think is like a mid-game to end-game thing. Um, on the couple of practice, pra practice playthroughs I've done, I didn't come across any military engineers. So I think that's a little bit later in the game. Buildings that provide additional yields when pa with when power receive four plus of you. That sentence makes no sense to me. Um, production towards industrial zone buildings, so we get more production towards industrial zones. And harbour buildings increase strategic resources stockpile by plus ten. So it looks like we want our focus to be great works on our border cities, iron and coal early on, and then we're looking to get sea and harbour stuff we want the royal navy royal navy's dockyard which is our unique district and the sea dog which is our unique naval unit let's get into this and 
straight away, I like the fact it's green. Green is always a positive. The thing that semi worries me is that we've got water on both sides. I think that's just a lake. I mean, it even says lake. So a lake there, I'm fine. It's actually quite good defensively. We've got a mountain there. We've got a lake here. I'm hoping this is sea because if this is the sea, we can take advantage of our naval stuff and get out and about relatively quickly. So I don't feel the need to to necessarily move away from here as a starting point. Looking at this, um, we've got we've got plenty of decent resources nearby. We've got some cotton here. We've got copper over here. This tea. I mean, we're, we're the English Empire. We need some tea. The one thing I'm not seeing much of, um, I thought that was snake. I thought it was snakes. No, it's jade. Not snakes. We've got sheep. There's not much in the way of stuff to mine, which I think we probably need to find as a matter of urgency. But let's found London here. I don't think we needed to necessarily move anywhere um, and get up and running, get our research going. So, although mining is one of the things that we're supposedly good at, we don't have <laughs> we don't have anything to mine at the moment. So, I'm thinking we don't have wheat or rice nearby. We didn't really have any of this stuff nearby. We are relatively close to the sea, or we could just we could just go astrology straight away. Are we near Is that stone? That was stone, wasn't it? So, I'm thinking if we aim for astrology, I know from the one tutorial I've watched that Stonehenge has to be next to stone and allows you to do like religion-y stuff. So I'm thinking with none of the other stuff nearby, maybe we go straight to astrology, which really it's the one of those that you look at that and think, yeah, you don't, that's the one you don't need, Kev, but what you're going to do? Did that just say we've dis a new continent? We've discovered a new continent. How? Are we on the border of a continent? Oh, no, it's just, I was going to say, this is the continent. The Congo Craton is our continent. That message confused the eyes off of me. Um, as a second unit, I mean, there's an argument for scout, warrior, or slinger. I, I want to get out exploring, so I think we're probably just going to... Scouts are useless for the sake of one extra turn. We'll go for a slinger, and then we're going to get we're going to get exploring with this guy. We'll try so that looks like it looks like we're up in the in the North Pole. So I'm worried this is going to be horrible desert stuff below us. But we'll we'll try not to worry too much about that just yet. Um there's no point going. We're gonna go down a bit. How big is this lake gonna be, do we think? So what I'm doing is keeping an eye out for where I'm gonna put my second city because my early strategy and i don't i don't really know if this is good strategy like i said i've come from some of the older civilization games that i've played a lot more than six um oh hello we've got we've got barbarians over there straight away that's that is a barbarian isn't it yeah we need to get this guy back home and pronto because otherwise he's going to cause all manner of problems that was that about that was a was it a scout or a warrior my unit has earned it what units what have I... What? What did I just earn experience for? Circumnavigating a lake? I mean, it's interesting. So, we need to find out where they came from. And go and do the killing of them. Here they are. So, they're hiding in these trees. Are they... So, they are a scout. So, as long as we don't let them get back to their base... My understanding is they won't set off a raid. What I was trying to say before is exactly what I've just done there. Priority number two is get the second city in straight away. This all looks like wasteland. So I'm thinking we want to go this way anyway. So we're going to bring out our, um, what are they called? Slinger. Our slinger is going to come out this way too. And the, that, that, well, that way these guys are going to serve two purposes. We're out chasing this. To try and find there's a there's a village there, so that's handy. Trying to find where that is so we can get rid of that. And then I'm also thinking on that river might even be the spot for our uh, second sieve. Um if this is relatively uh, see, we might need our slinger to come and help us. I want to go and get that though before anyone else does, because we don't know who else is hanging around this area, but I think we probably need to prioritize and take care of this barbarian camp first, because what 
what we don't want is them to come in and cause us all manner of trouble. Where did that scout go? Because he didn't go back here. Of course you're going to come out and kill my slingers. You monsters. Um, right, let's start with these guys because they can do their ranged attack and weaken them so that we can then finish them off, hopefully, with the warriors and that be that. That's what I'm thinking is the desired outcome. And that's exactly what we get. So we clear the Barbarian Camp 3 era score as well, which is handy, plus a boost towards inspiration. We've got another tribal village there, so we want to make a move for both of those, probably before worrying about healing. Um, so the other one was... Was it there? Yeah. There's the scout. So was he from that Barbarian Camp? Or is he going back somewhere else now to warn them about me? This is the problem with me trying to make this move before healing. Um, right, let's give ourselves some policies. We we definitely want that one. Wrong button. We want to be able to fight barbarians, and we've only got one one city at the moment, so we'll do that one. Easy peasy. Um, did this have a promotion available? It did. So we're just going to take that, mainly to heal us up. So if he attacks again, we'll probably win. Um, and then we can take a step in there. It looks like they're relatively safe civics wise what do we want so we've already boosted military tradition by clearing that outpost so i guess it makes sense to move towards that we don't have we haven't found any city states or anything to trade with yet so i'm not desperate to move straight into foreign trade um i've been granted a recon oh for finding that awesome that is really handy having a recon unit there right now we can give these guys their promotion as well which heals them up most of the way um them i think i'm just going to set them to auto explore because they're utterly useless they're just they're not going to win in any kind of fights so let's just get them out there exploring the world and hopefully either revealing where there might be more barbarians for us to go and kill or trying to find us somewhere to put another city because at the moment i mean i'm thinking we have to settle here probably but there's there's a little bit of land we can work and some sea, but beyond that, it is looking like seriously slim if pickings. Delicate has any significance, oh, lies, delicate imagine. arch, right up my street. Plus, we got astrology out of it too. What a village to go and raid. Now we've got, I think that's a city-state. Is that a city-state? It must be because we've not had the little meeting thing. There you go. We'll give them an envoy. Um one more and we'll become their serene or whatever it whatever it's called i don't know all the fancy terminology yet right we've got a boost on archery there so i think it makes sense to go and get archery and we saw in those early battles just how useless these slingers are we'll heal that one up but if we can get to archers asap that's going to be a good thing right we're going to carry on exploring this coastline with this warrior just just on the off chance that there might be a slightly better place for a second city to go than where we've already looked, but it's it's not looking it's not looking great, is it? Um, what's happening here? That's not us, is it? No, because our slingers up there. So, who's fighting? Who is there? More bar there is more barbarians. So there is going to be another barbarian camp down here somewhere. I assume we're going to stumble across it on our travels anyway. But for now, the Nazca, Nazca, Nazca. They're dealing with it, and it does. It looks like that's kind of the end, the edge of this continent. So we'll just keep tracing this coastline along. We need to head south, really, because I don't like the cold weather. See this? This is looking more like it. This is looking like potential city territory, and of course, Caesar Trajan is knocking about the place. Who are you? And what lands can you claim as your own? All of them. Including yours, probably. Um, I'll have some of your hospitality, though. Um, let's send you a delegation as well. We want to make friends early on. Can we not do that yet? Why can't we do that? Send delegation. Can we be friends now? No. Don't worry. I'll, I'll befriend you, Caesar, if it kills you. If it kills me, we're going to be friends. What I'm thinking is, if we are going to spread this way, firstly... Where exactly are Rome? Because they've come in there. So I guess Rome are down here. So it does change my plan slightly because 
If they're right there, we're going to move this scout ourselves. Because if Rome are down here, we might want to expand that way just to stop them getting too close to London. But for now, let's see. This looks like a nice spot. If we were to settle there, then I would be inclined as it's early game time to just wipe out Nazca, Nazca and just take that as our own. Or maybe we just suzerain it and settle for doing things that way. Let me know down in the comments what the what the benefits and drawbacks of doing both are. See, I'm... Um, that's a big floodplain, is it? See, the game isn't recommending this area at all, which is what I thought looked like a decent spot. It's on a river, it's by the sea. The game is suggesting I move down this way. That is the River Avon. This is our area. It's our land. And the Romans must be down here somewhere. So... The two, there's three spots that are recommended. I'm not interested in that one. It's not far south enough. I think we'll naturally get this bit of coastline through London or we can go and expand into that later. I'm much more inclined to go here, which we've got a few resources knocking around. We've got a little bit of floodplain, whereas much more of this is in a floodplain. I think we're going to go here. But we should probably, where's that slinger? If we... Wake him and get him to head over this way as well, just in case there's more of those barbarians around. And then we're going to head here with that settler. And then I, I think I'm probably going to push for another settler immediately. Monument and holy site are both relatively important to get early on. Are we not? We don't seem to be growing very quickly. Mm, see, Stonehenge is right there. And we did talk about going for Stonehenge. So do I maybe go for that? Or do we want the holy site first? Stonehenge allows me to... So that work... We, we can found a religion there. And we get a great profit. So if we do that, we can actually found a religion. So can we buy that? We can. We are going to put Stonehenge there. That might be really dumb to take 24 turns out from building settlers. What I'm thinking is is we're just going to keep an eye on so we need 440 coins to be able to purchase a settler we might do that part way through is that stupid i'm not really sure i've never really we're getting a delegation from this guy i've never really experimented with religion before i think the versions i've tended to just have the base version of the game in the past which often doesn't include religions so religions as a as a win as a way of winning it's kind of a an alien concept to me but it definitely is a route to victory yeah so to achieve a religious victory your religion must become the predominant religion for every civilization in the game a religion is predominant if it's followed by more than 50 percent of the cities in a civilization that sounds like a lot of work diplomacy i don't really understand a diplomatic victory either the ones i typically would do are the space race one science culture or domination and domination I'm, I'm now i'm not a huge fan of because the war stuff can take a long time is this my what is this this is my why can't it where he was just oh i took him off i was wondering why he wasn't auto exploring it's because i told him not to because i want him to go and find rome i've given him a specific scouting mission right Next turn again, it turns out, we have Mount found Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro, which, who's this guy? Peric, Pericles of Athens. <laughs> yes, I'll let you do your business. Do what you like, Pericles. It is an honor to meet you. Um, now foreign trade is available to us. Um, I think what I'm going to do is send him a delegation as well. I know we're saving up for a settler, but... You know, we've got. To, how are we doing for this other stuff? Right. So now we know where they are. So is that a city state? That's a, these are both city states, are they? I don't know how you you would know. I think I don't think we've found either of the capitals yet. So city states, Akkad, Nazca, and Leventa. So they're city states. City states to the south. Which I think means it's all the more important for us to settle in here to do some of that pushing our influence out stuff that we know we can do with Eleanor. So we're definitely going to look to settle that. But where on earth are Rome? 
I assumed this was going to be Roam down here, and clearly it ain't. Right, we can now take an animal husband, which is like a dream come true. Um, this guy is still... Is that another one of our rivers? Anything that's got an English river name, as far as I'm concerned, is fair game for my territory. That's where my that's where my world should be. Mount Kilimanjaro, not traditionally English. But Lake Vol Volvo? But I'm thinking as far as the Avon... I, even... I, I think my initial borders, we're looking at along here. Maybe as far as... That look, that's probably not ours. So this kind of direction, which is completely the opposite direction to what I was originally intending to to travel in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore that scout and assume these guys are dealing with it, which might be a really bad idea. But I really want to find where Rome are. Ideally, before I settle this city... But I think that might be a little bit hopeful. But both Greece and Rome are coming from the south, so they must be down there. And presumably, I mean, we're only turn 24. They must be on our continent. And yeah, they are taking care of that scout. So we don't need to worry about that. And London has flooded. Tremendous. Look at the state of that. My word. Right, our slinger... Where did I... Where is my settler? Has my settler been pinched? Oh, no, he's on the same tile. So this is where we're going to settle. Oh, I panicked there. So Manchester in the south, London in the north, just like in real life. And we'll heal the slinger up there for a minute. And I think ASAP, we're going to push out and do a settler here. How quickly is our growth going to be? 15 turns. So let's do the warrior. And then we can do a settler there shortly afterwards. Right. Continue your search for Rome, Mr. Scout. If we can find Rome, then I'm going to be happy. What is going on here? Lots of battling. That. So that's now... Was that a barbarian? Right. The Yukon River, which we've just crossed... I feel like we've crossed that twice. Right, we have to do a pantheon. So this is going to be important. If we're looking to found a religion, this is going to, going to then form the basis for our religion, I think. I think that's how it works. So what do we want? Um, God of the sea. I mean, we are England. We are going to be aiming out to the sea soon. But we don't actually have a seaside ta uh, city yet. Um doo -doo 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 -doo. We've got, I think I'm going to do fertility rights. I'm not even thinking long term here. I just want that builder, especially because we've had the flood in London. And I think we could use a builder. So let's do that to get a builder, which gets us towards inspiration. And now we have our builder. So what we need to do is, what is happening here? Where has he come from? There. Urgh. Where's my defensive guy? Right, my sling is going to have to come up here. Um, the, the hunt for Rome is temporarily suspended as we recall the troops. In the meantime, I want to... I'll improve this way because I don't want to risk having my newly acquired builder pinched. And taken by this guy. Hopefully my slinger gets there in plenty of time. Which means we're never going to find out where Rome is. Ah. Right. Oh, I guess, in fact, we might do. Because it's my scout that's looking for Rome. So there's a big mountain range there. All of a sudden, my thoughts for future expansion. And uh, so there's, there's Greece. So we know where Athens is. Why, have, why do we know their capital? But we haven't got his capital yet. Didn't I already send a declaration to you? Can we... Well, I'm not going to give you Manchester, am I? I want to know where you are. But now we know Athens are there. So we've got a massive mountain range. Why are you here? Go away. We've got a massive mountain range between the north. We're north of the wall. 
and Athens. And I'm assuming from the direction they came from that Rome must be a little bit closer. Maybe in here, but then we've got mountains there. Do, do we think those mountains go all the way across? These barbarians are annoying because I would like to go and explore that and find out, but I need to deal with these barbarians. Um, right, we're going to stick a farm on there because we could use all the food we can get our hands on, which, I mean, it's my policy for real life as well. As much food as I can get my hands on. And we've got a farm on an area that was previously flooded, so we get a little note in our history books as well. Which is splendid. Bassenthwaite Lake. I assume that's a lake from real life, but I've never heard of it. Where is Bassenthwaite Lake, boys and girls? Um, right, let's head this way. So Kilimanjaro is there, literally right next to Akkad, which is surely just going to get smashed to smithereens. They want a wheel. They want sailing. Where was the other city state? It was over here, wasn't it? So this is the other stuff to bear in mind, I guess. They want a trade route, which we're not ready to do yet. But the wheel and sailing, we could potentially do after we're done with archery. The reach of your empire is as Jupiter's... Because <laughs> I've got two cities. That's impressed you, has it? My word. Come and see me in a hundred turns, my friend. And you'll see, you'll see impressive. I'm setting myself up for so much failure there. We have sent a delegation bearing gifts. Thank you, Pericles. That's very kind of you. Um, my de Ah, here we go. Rome has just received a foreign delegation. It appears to be from Greece. So if we've got someone in Rome, then we must know where Rome is. <laughs> I want to I reply to the email I just got from Rome. Psst, Rome guy. Where are you? He must be over here. I think. Right, how is... Oh, I thought, I thought I'd thought i already done that. Right, we have new civics. Production towards... No, we don't want to do that. 30% production towards... I'm happy to leave things as they are for now, I think. Um, we need to choose a new civic. So let's get into the civics tree. We can now do foreign trade, which... The... Um, one of the city states, I think it was the one over here, Nazca. They want a trade route, don't they? So that makes sense. It's something we're going to need to do anyway. So let's get that up and running so we can go and sort them out. Meanwhile, I'm going to continue sending that warrior up that way. I've lost my scout that was down here. Oh, no, it's there. So what... Is that another Greek city? But it looks like there's a border there. So does that potentially... Is that where Greece borders Rome, do we think? Right, let's do our first attack on them as we is that i thought we'd taken them all out for a second there with one shot from a slinger which would be absurd i don't think our slinger is going to survive until our warrior gets out although to be fair they did quite well there we now have archery can we can we upgrade them how much does that cost we've got oh we must be in friendly territory so we can't really do it at the moment let's just continue to attack how far away is the warrior just about to enter london okay Right, tech tree time. Um, who wanted the wheel? Someone wanted the wheel and someone wanted sailing. We can do sailing in 12 turns. So let's do that to please that city-state. I think it was Leventa wanted sailing. Bearing in mind, they're inland. Is this a border, though? That's what we're trying to... No, 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 no. There, that's Rome, isn't it? That must be Rome. I think we found Rome. Supposedly. I'm not leaving a city-state to you, don't you worry. Um, and if that's a threat, you want to curb yourself, Beardo. Um, I'm hoping that is Rome, right next to Greece. Because if it is, I would like to think those two are just going to keep each other amused. Where was that from? Wow, that is a big flood. That looks like permanent floodage. I'm very, very glad we didn't settle just here like I was planning on doing. Huh? <laughs> That would have been disastrous. Right. Is this going to finish these guys off without even needing the warrior? I told you slingers were great. There we go. And we got some knowledge of bronze working. Right. Let's... Is that... Is that Rome? I don't know. There's a definite border there. Can we... Can we cross into it? 
But where's that warrior? We want to bring him back now. In fact, no, we're going to take him over there and get rid of that. And we need to find Rome. Who is... What? They've got horse... How are we not in there yet? There we go. We've got rid of those barbarians. Some more era score. How are we doing for era score? Um, which I think is on there, isn't it? Era progress. So we're currently all set for a normal age. In fact, we're not a million miles away from pushing this to a golden age. And I think we get era score for pleasing the city-states, I think. So theoretically, if we get sailing done before the end of the era, I think a Eureka gives us era points. I could be wrong, though. What unit needs orders? That one, right. They can just heal up for a few minutes. Can we? Can we, can we, can we? Have we now got enough money to go back to London and buy a settler? No. We needed 440. That's annoying. Still seven turns until we get Stonehenge sorted. Um, this scout needs to get away from these bad guys who are on horses, which is going to make it quite hard to outrun them, especially as we've got rivers to cross. So I'm going to send... There's another barbarian thing there. I'm going to send my warrior there. We must have been right next to that before. I was supposed to be sending him there. I'm going to have to get my slingers to deal with that. I need more army. Oh, we're so losing this scout. This is... This is not fair. Let me cross the river. Rome! We found Rome! And they've also got some nice little defences. Look how close Rome and Athens are to each other. They're surely going to kick the hell out of each other at some point. Look how big Athens is already. Five population already. Mind you, London's up to four. Rome seemingly struggling a little bit. Because it's kind of boxed in. If we, we want to head out and settle again here somewhere. I know it's the desert. But... If we can stop Rome coming north and Athens can stop them going south and west and we know there's a coastline there, Rome are really going to have very little room to be able to do any kind of expansion, which I think is a perfect scenario for us. Um, right, I think my plan from here, because I've just looked at how long I've already been talking for in this video i don't want it to be the longest video in the world so i think having discovered rome i am going to wrap this first video up here let me know down in the comments what you thought of it are you happy with the format of it do you, are you wondering where my beautiful face is i think i said at the start of the video you tell me where on the screen i can put my face in the middle of it maybe uh, but I, I would, I think I'm going to do an episode two regardless. Spoilers, because I've really enjoyed doing this first one. But I'll, uh, I'll give it a day or two just to take some feedback on board for if there's something I'm doing massively wrong or something you would suggest, something I need to change. Let me know down in the comments. But I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for a part two of this, especially as soon as we hit those thousand likes. And thank you very much for watching.